Welcome, welcome to our inspirational moment, Encouraging in Love at Redeeming Love Christian Church. We're here at Redeeming Love Christian Church. We are called to demonstrate God's love that redeems, unveils, and empowers. I'm Elder Mario Smith, and I am so excited and happy to be here and happy that you're allowing me a few moments just to encourage you. Right now, before we get started, I just want to admonish you to call a couple of friends, let them know that you're actually watching this. Uh, uh, click the uh, like button on uh, Facebook. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, reach out to at least 5, 10, 15 of your friends, family, and make sure that they like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, because we want to make sure that we're giving you everything that God is giving us. We want to make sure that here in 2021, that you are reaping the benefits of everything that God has for you. So we want to keep you informed of when there's a service posting, when there's a posting of, of midweek Bible study, when there's a posting of, of, of manpower at Sunday school, everything that we're doing in the life of Redeeming Love Christian Church, we want you to be aware so that you can join and partake in that. Amen. 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 Once again, I'm glad that you're giving me just a few moments of your time just to share and encourage you in the furtherance of our word. As uh, you're hearing me right now, we're in 2021. We have transitioned from 2020 and moved right into 2021. And right now, what I want to do is I want to just pray for you right now. Before I begin, I just want to pray, uh, Heavenly Father, that you will continue to guide and place a hedge of protection around your people, Lord. I want to thank you right now, Father, for allowing us to get through 2020, Lord. I want to thank you for what you're doing, the things that you're causing us to identify in ourselves, the things that you are causing us to do to pull us and push us into our purpose and destiny. We know that we have our hope and our strength in you, O Heavenly Father, and we thank you right now for what you're doing. We pray, O Heavenly Father, for those that have have been impacted by 2020, those that have lost family members, those that have lost loved ones, oh, Heavenly Father, I ask right now that you cause those that have lost loved ones, dear ones, that you cause them to have the peace of you, oh, Heavenly Father, that you that you are, that meet them right there where they are with their emotional stability, oh, Heavenly Father. Give them the understanding and wherewithal and strength to just make it through the next day. We understand and know that 2020 was a hard year for us, oh, Heavenly Father, and we just thank you that your provision is sufficient for us, O oh Lord. We thank you for the hedge of protection that you're placing around us. We thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, for all that you are doing. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. I hope that that prayer has found you and blessed you. One of the things that I, I want to highlight is that if you're watching me right now, if you're hearing the sound of my voice right now, I just want to let you know that you are a survivor. Our bishop ministered to us from Acts 27, verses 19 through 32. I'm not going to read all of those verses, but I definitely want to encourage you to listen to Ship Survivors. If you go through YouTube, you'll see the graphic that says Ship Survivor. I want you to listen to that message. And I want to share with you right now how that message impacted me. It's a very familiar passage of, of, of scripture where it talks about Paul sailing uh, from Rome. And I won't get into the details of that because I want you to receive and get the message and get the scripture for yourself. But I want to share with you what it actually caused me to do as a result of hearing that word. Led out by just talking about how we are survivors. And as he began to talk about that, I began to think about just everything that 2020 has caused to, to change in my life. I think about the fact that I've had to deal with some loss. I've, I've had to deal with the loss of some people that I cared about, some family members that, that, uh, 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 that, that suffered some impact as a result of COVID-19. There have been some friends that I know of that has actually lost lives of family members that are, have been close to me. We've had to deal with that throughout this year at a magnitude that we haven't really had to deal with before. We've had to adjust and change our normal everyday way of life. There's another level of preparation we have to do just to walk out of the doors of our home. We've had to learn a new way of life a new way of operating, a new way of processing things, a new way of handling information as it comes to us. 
We've had to learn and transition and go through a lot in 2020. Some of us, we've had to deal with working with less. Some of us have lost jobs, have lost income, has impacted us financially, and we've had to change and augment things to work with less resources in our hands. And for many of us, we've had to take on new responsibilities. We've had to do things at a different way. We had to be responsible now for making sure that our children get the education that they need with the virtual learning now. Some of us had to take on responsibilities of taking in loved ones and, and caring for those that, that, that have, may have become sick. We've had to endure so much through 2020. And I just want to encourage you right now. I just want to encourage you that all of the transition, all of the tribulation, all of the stretching, the, the pulling, all of, all of that that you're going through, God is mindful of exactly where you are. God is mindful of what you've gone through. God is mindful of the processes that you've had to refigure out and change. He's mindful of the tribulations that you're going through. But one of the things that we have to do is we also have to be mindful of what God is also doing right now. We have to observe and look while, while we're handling and dealing with the change and the pulling and the stretching. We also have to look with our open ears and open minds to see exactly what God is doing in this pandemic, in this time. Now, as we have entered into 2021, I feel that we are at the end of the beginning. Right now, we're in a halftime moment where we can sure up those things. We can rejuvenate. We can refresh. We can get energized. This is that pep talk time before we go out and do the second half of this. And I, I want to give you that pep talk. I want to give you that encouragement. Like I said, God is mindful of exactly where you are. We have to be mindful of where, of what God is doing. And we also have to be mindful of where God wants us to be. One of the things, um, uh, and I want to encourage you, I mentioned before, I want to encourage you guys to log on and attend our Sunday schools. We do Sunday school every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And one of the things that was talked about during Sunday school this morning was us having the ability to look back and reflect upon what this last year has done so that we can be prepared as we're going into this 2021 year. That word, that message, ship survivor, Acts, 9, Acts 27, 19 through 32, that message, the way our bishop outlined it and laid it out, caused me to do a deep reflection on what 2020 was, a deep reflection, not just of what 2020 brought to us as a society, as a people, but a deep reflection on what 2020 caused me to do. I realized that I had to live with a lot of the choices that I've made and ignored. The pandemic caused us, it stretched us, it pulled us to the point for us to have to look at the choices that we made and where we are. And as a result of that, the things that you see gives you opportunity to make changes, opportunity to change that behavior, opportunity to augment and switch some things around as it pushes us closer to where God wants us to be. This, my friend, is a time to reflect on ourselves. This is a time for us to check to see who's in the ship with us. Do we, are we surrounded by the right people? Are they like-minded with us? What are the things that we need to sure up in our lives to give us the strength to continue out through this year, 2021? I want to encourage you on today, like I said, to listen to that message. Reflect upon the points that was given and identify where you are as God is mindful of where you are. Identify where God wants you to be and what you need to do to get there. This is an opportunity before the ship gets wrecked. This is an opportunity for you to identify where you are and what you need to do. The thing about it is with that, God already promised that everyone on the ship will survive. Even though the ship will be destroyed, all the occupants of the ship will survive. The thing that we have to get through is we're so busy thinking about the fact that the ship is going to be destroyed. We don't face the fact that we're going to survive in the destroying of the ship. 
So I want to let you know, no matter how things look, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter how big that mountain is in front of you, no matter the fact that you can't see a way out of this situation, circumstance, issue, conflict, strife, whatever the case may be, God is mindful of where you are. And he wants you to reflect on where you need to get to in 2021. I want to thank you on today for just sharing this time with me. I just want to thank you and encourage you to continue to spend this time with us, continue to research and look and learn from the teachings that our bishop elect is giving us. I want to encourage you to log on to all the other opportunities we have to share. Like I said, that's with Bible study on Wednesdays, midweek service. Uh, we do men powered. We do Sunday morning uh, 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 Bible school with that. And so all of that information will be included here in this video. We want to get you guys plugged in. We want you guys to be successful and succeed in 2021 with everything that we've been through in 2020. It's about time that we get to the point of rejoicing in 2021. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of this encouraging moment. And I'll see you next time.